Hello students, my name is Priyanka and I am your digital mentor. Today I am here to start with the chapter number 2 of class 5 that is latitudes and longitudes. So let's kick start. Look at a globe, there are some lines on it. Fill in the missing letters to complete their names. We have read in the previous classes how globes and maps helps us to find places on earth. The earth is like a spinning sphere. A globe is a miniature model of the earth. If you examine a globe, you will notice that it has an axle that allows it to spin around. In this way, a globe imitates the spinning of the earth, which rotates around an imaginary axle. This imaginary axle is called the axis of the earth, as you see in the picture. See, the parallels of latitude and meridians of longitude. The endpoints of the axis are fixed. These two endpoints can be used as starting points on the earth or on the globe. These endpoints are named as the North Pole and the South Pole. Lines of latitude or parallels. The lines of latitude are parallel to each other. Hence, they are also called the parallels. The parallel are placed at equal distance and they neither touch nor cut each other. We have a circle around the earth that runs exactly halfway between the North Pole and the South Pole. It is the largest parallel. It is called the equator. It divides the globe into two equal parts. The northern half is called the northern hemisphere and the southern half is called the southern hemisphere. Parallels are used to measure the distance or position of a place which lies north or south of the equator. This distance is called latitude. As we take the equator, the reference line, we say it is at 0 degree latitude. The North Pole is at 90 degree north latitude, 90 degree north. And the South Pole is 90 degree south latitude, that is 90 degree S. The other parallels are marked between 0 degree and 90 degree, north or south. Now see the spatial parallels. There are four spatial parallels or latitude apart from the equator and the poles. They are as follow. Now children see the picture. Now are you able to see the Tropic of Cancer is at 23 and half degree north. Now see the Tropic of Capricorn is at 23 and half degree south. Now see the Arctic Circle is at 66 and half degree north. The Antarctic Circle is at 66 and half degree south. The spatial parallels divided the earth from the north to south into various heat zones. Now longitudes. Longitudes are semicircular imaginary lines drawn vertically from the North Pole to the South Pole. These lines are also called meridians. The line which passes at Greenwich near London is the most important longitude and is marked at 0 degree. This is called the prime meridian. The longitudes are 360 in number. The lines of longitude appear vertical but are actually halves of great ellipse closed curve of the same length. However, the distance between the longitudes is maximum at the equator but it goes on decreasing towards the pole where it minimum. Longitudes are marked as 180 degree east and 180 degree west of the prime meridian. Locating places. The latitudes and longitudes cut each other at right angles and form a network of lines on the globe, which is called the grid. This grid helps us to locate places on the globe. To locate a place on the globe, 
we should know the values of latitude and longitude the place at which the parallel of of that latitude and the meridian of that longitude cross each other is the location of that place now see the time zones what is time zones the earth rotates once every 24 hours in on its axis and there are 360 degrees of longitude each hour of earth rotation represent 15 degrees of longitude fleming proposed that the globe be divided into 24 time zones each 15 degrees of longitude in width the earth is therefore divided into 24 time zones remember throughout a time zone the same standard time is used though each time zones has a different standard time between two consecutive time zones the difference in their standard time is always 1 hour the time convention begins with greenwich mean time located at the greenwich meridian the time convention begins with greenwich mean time located at the greenwich meridian time zones to the east of the greenwich meridians are later and times to the west of the greenwich meridian are earlier that is why a watch will show more hours in italy than in portugal at the same time international date line the international date lines is an imaginary line of longitude on the surface of the earth that runs from the north pole to the south pole while measuring time along the 180 degree meridian a particular problem arises suppose it's 9 am wednesday morning at greenwich then at 180 degree east the time will be 9 pm on the same day as it is 12 time zone ahead of gmt 180 degree is equals to 15 degree into 12 and at 180 degree w that is west the time will be 9 pm on tuesday evening as it is 12 time zones behind gmt but 180 degree and 180 degree west coincide therefore if you cross this line from west to east you repeat a day and if you cross it from east to west you stand to lose a day to avoid such confusions all the countries have fixed a boundary line called the international date line which follows 180 degree meridian now it's time for tits and bits so children the time difference between either side of the international date line is not always exactly 24 hours because of local time zone variations now it's time for looking back a globe is a miniature model of the earth the lines of latitude are parallel to each other the northern half of the earth is called the northern hemisphere and the southern half is called the southern hemisphere the spatial parallels divided the earth from north to south into various heat zones Longitudes are imaginary lines drawn vertically from the north pole to the south pole. To locate a place on the globe, we should know the values of latitude and longitude which cross each other. The countries of the world have fixed boundary called the international date line. So children, it's time